To make this air balloon team christening frame, I'm using foam board. It's the best material to make frame. It's very light, easy to cut, but it's very breakable. As you see, the few damages over here, but it's okay. I'm gonna cover that with clouds. Now, first to make this frame, I sketch it. So that's gonna look two main balloons, the name, christening and the date. And the other accessories like a clouds and the pads. So first I print one air balloon, or you can easily draw by hand. What you do, you just draw the one side, and then you're gonna fold in a half and cut it out. So I have two main balloons, I'm gonna cut them out now. Keep that leftover paper so we're gonna use that for clouds and banners. Now, the main balloon is gonna be here. And this one's gonna be on this side, like that. Very gently. And then it's me over here. Edge over here. That's gonna be a banner like this. So this is how it looks when you cut it out. And for decorations, I'm using paint, paper, pencils, and coloring pens. These are the main colors I'm gonna use. So white, gray, and blue. Now from leftover paper, I cut a few clouds and a few air balloons, big and smaller. Now, this blue is so, so nice. So I cut from this clouds and triangles for the banners. Now I'm gonna lay everything on the frame to see how it looks and what I need to add. So I laid everything on at the moment, it looks like that. What I'm doing first now, I'm gonna paint. While the paint is drying, I can do clouds and balloons. Just a drop of white blue, white glue, then I'm gonna add white and a tiny top of this dark blue and mix it very, very well. Now that's what I got all done. Let's start painting and once it's dry, I'm gonna do second layer. So day two, all dry, and I done a tiny bit of the coloring and I laid everything on to see how it looks. That's the best way to do, lay everything on so you see what to add, what not. So I see where's the clouds, I need to add darker clouds so it kind of pops out more. Like say over here one cloud, then on the top somewhere here, and maybe here or down here we'll see i still have to color this balloon and this air balloon i don't feel i use the colors all the like blues and grays now i cut the letters already i won't gonna lie it was the hardest part for me to do the letters i use the tiny scissors that's the for the fabric they are very um sharp and what's that word and pointy at the top so I could easily cut the inside. Now I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna do the name. The same way as I done this, only for the name I'm gonna use the blue paper. Now this is my uh, window and I take this sheet, it's not very good but it's seat now you can see very well and I put the paper, first I open it, as you can see it has lines at the back it's very very good so for now I'm gonna the name goes like that but you put opposite and then you lay the paper you can't see very well on the camera but I can see where's the lines and then I'm gonna trace around with the pencil all the way around so it looks like that now I didn't film how it trace because basically you have to put your face to the window just to see through this um, paper. It's kind of hard to see. Now, I'm, I'm taking scissors and I'm going to cut this out.
because I have loads of leftover paper. So I'm going to make little triangles and little details. See, I'm going to add here on the balloon. On the other balloon. We'll see somewhere. And then I got the marker. The closest color to match this paper. So this one. And I'm going to trace now around the banner. Now, as you see, I already draw here a pencil. So I know where is the line. It's all marked. So I'm going to use the marker now and do the line with the marker. And go all the way around to make it pop out. And take your time, do very carefully. All the way around. Even over here where is the balloon, I'm going to move this away to on the edges, over here, it's kind of cleaning all the lines really nicely. And once you outline the ribbon, you're going to do that inside the frame over here all the way, just a tiny bit over here, it gives a very very nice pop. It's going to take forever, but it's worth it. It's going to look very, very nice. Now, I traced all around to dark blue. Now it's time to shade the banner. So for this one, I'm using crayons and pencils. I'm going to start shading with the lightest. It's a long process, but you kind of see just tiny bit here. It's like a highlight. And then you go with dark over here, kind of make that nice shade. Just shading, nice and relaxing. Until you're happy. Where do you need darker? Make it darker. Like over here, this corner has to be super dark. So we're gonna do it darker. And you can use your finger too to rub in. And then I need over here darker too. With the lines. Now, shading is done. It looks like that. The only thing I have now is this big balloon to color, and I'm going to show you how I'm going to do this.
all done, now I have to glue the pieces on and I'm going to use the glue stick. Now to stick this sticky paper, it's very, very easy. You just peel off and stick. And then for the paper, you just use the glue. Where you want. And then I use tissue paper to press it on. And keep going until you're finished. 